you are watching Steph on the Pedal. This channel is a pretty great resource for new Instacart shoppers. I actually have a whole playlist of Instacart videos linked below as well. Make sure you subscribe because I will definitely be putting more content out like this and give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much. I would appreciate it. Well, today I am planning on going to try my uh, first Costco batch. So I haven't shopped at Costco yet or any of the other big stores like that, uh, Sam's Club, you know, you get the point. I've been kind of nervous about doing it, but I've heard really good things. I know there are people that kind of use that as their strategy to where they almost exclusively do that. And it seems like they're making a lot of money. So I actually have some some nerves that are reminiscent of my first day of Instacart shopping, so that's kind of funny. But I have a friend that does a lot of Costco batches, and I'm going to get her on the phone and talk to her and let you guys listen in while I get some advice from her and maybe ask her a couple questions. So this is somebody that I know personally. She's She actually is an admin on my Facebook group. If you're not a member of my Instacart Shoppers Facebook group, I'll have that link below. You should uh, really go check that out. It's been a great resource so far and a lot of really helpful people, very positive energy there. So it is a good place. But yeah, I'm going to give her a call and let's see what she has to say. Hello. Yay. No way. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was yeah. so frustrated. Oh, what? <laughs> that was that was awful. <laughs> Oh, yeah, seriously, saying just cannot connect the servers. Oh, weird. Oh well, it's working now. Good, good. All right. So, did you go out for long today? I was at like six thirty, I think, and then I came home at noon. I only made like one hundred and twenty-five bucks, but gotcha. It was it was few and far between, and I wasn't going to drive around a bunch. Okay. Yeah. So. Do you? I, I predominantly shop Costco, so. That's what I thought, and that's kind of why I wanted yeah. to talk to you because I know that I mean you're you're making pretty good money, so I figured you would uh -huh. be the person to get tips from about it. Yeah, but and actually, other people at the store ask me tips too. So. Oh yeah, I know. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah I so I I mean I've been looking. It's weird because I've been looking. I see. I'm seeing batches, but it's like every single one of them that I see is really low. Like they're really crappy mm -hmm. batches that I'm seeing yeah, right I now. I see one right now for like nine dollars and twenty five cents. Yeah. Like seriously, you tipped a dollar twenty five. Right. And it's like thirty items. I'm like, no, not doing that. <laughs> the reason is because those people with the bots are taking the high dollar ones. That's I I know. This morning. Even early when like, you were out. Um, n not until probably like ten o'clock. So, like, my first batch was good. It was, like, 60, $69, I think. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, but, I mean, I started right away. Um, and I always go before the store itself opens and go through the receiving door just because you can oftentimes get more and there's better selection, too. Yeah, so I, wanted to, everything out. I wanted to ask you about that because, I mean, I've heard a little bit about that, but I haven't looked into it that heavily. And I know that... Mm -hmm. I mean, I am so not a morning person, but I mean, yeah. it, it almost seems like it might be worth it to give it a shot. It, it but, totally is because the predominant um, selection of good batches that tip better tend to come in earlier in the day because they're the type of people who get up early because they're busy. They are management usually, and I get a lot of rich areas too early in the morning, I've noticed. Oh, yeah, yeah. So with the with the the Costco orders, I mean, I know they have like weird rules and and stuff like that. What I mean, what do biggest, I what do I need to know? I guess so. The biggest weird rules are during um, non business hours. Okay. So during non business hours, you have to wear a bib that says. <laughs> I've seen Chicago. those. It's a paper bib. It's bib. It's stupid. Yeah. I actually tried to wear a safety vest this morning to get around it, and they're like, "Yeah, we know you. Everybody here knows you, but you still gotta wear the bib." Aww. So, yeah. And then the other two biggest things are going. Well, actually, three biggest things. Um. So you can't wear earbuds or be on your phone. Okay. Talking. Okay. Um, because you have to be able to listen to hear for a forklift. Right. Second, second one is going to be forklifts are always going to get the right of way. Gotcha. 
Okay. So just make sure if you see a forklift coming and they'll honk at you, just move out of their way as quickly as possible. Yeah. And then the third most important is they do staging along the outside walls of the Costco locations. Yeah. So you can't go. You can't go um, along those walls uh, before uh, shift starts because they're loading. Gotcha. So you're you're essentially going to be in their way. Okay. And and that's predominantly where the forklifts are going to be at. Okay. Oftentimes they will have uh, someone around that can grab things on that outer aisle for you. Um, different stores operate differently though, so mm -hmm. they may not. They may just say, "Don't take your cart there," but you can run and grab stuff. Oh, okay. So it depends on the store, and if you're going to work an early shift, you want to ask them. Sure. Do you have someone on the floor that can grab things on the outer walls, or do you prefer us just to not take our cart there, but we can run and grab something real quick? Okay. All right. And how how early is it? Like an hour before they open? Is an an hour no, after they close? Six, six a.m. So six a.m. What time so does it normally open? open? They don't open until nine or nine thirty, depending oh, on what day of the week it is. Oh, holy cow! Okay, they, yeah, six, so much six earlier. Six, yeah, so weekdays is six a.m. and I think weekends is six thirty. All right, dang it! I can't I'm, remember on Saturday. I might have I to get my butt up early tomorrow. And then after they close, usually at six thirty, and they'll stay open until eight for Instacart shoppers. Gotcha. And okay. Then during the business hours, they predominantly want you to go through the main entrance. Okay. Um, if there's a really long line, in some instances, they might let you go through re receiving, but you should probably ask. Okay. Um, whoever's at the door, because there's always someone at the door checking the cards right. to make sure that you're really a member there. Yeah. And then... Um, if it's outside of business hours, you always have to go through the receiving door. At the back of the building, there's usually a um, semi-ramp that you'll see. Uh -huh. And then there will be, like, some stairs going up. And usually the door is right at the top of the stairs. And there's usually a way to walk around, too. So you don't have to go up the stairs. You can just walk around. Okay. And then they'll... Well, it's not so hard. They'll ask... Yeah, and they'll ask you, have you shown any signs of... Um, illness are you wearing a mask you have to make sure that you're wearing a mask okay they it's actually requir require it requirement for them. yeah they're right. requiring it there now yeah i do anyways they're, but yeah they're honestly the safest um in terms of like their sanitary practices they're oh. wiping down the belts on the daily okay um and they have the entire area of the um checkout aisle is they have plexiglass over it so that there's really no contact um and then some stores will have a dedicated instacart checkout lane some do not the one across Weird. the street from me at sheridan does not but okay. the other one does all right so usually you can just ask someone you can stop anyone say do you have a dedicated instacart aisle and okay. if they say no just find the shortest aisle okay cool for the lane yeah, yeah. that's not so hard i mean yeah. i i just I, I the knew there were some rules and stuff, but that's not yeah, the end of the, the world. the easiest way to check out, like, if you're doing a double shop, get a flatbed, which is the orange buggies. And then first thing I do is I go to produce and grab boxes. Okay. Um, they'll usually have boxes stacked uh, on a cart. Oftentimes, it's going to be right near where the entrance to the cooler is at. Yeah. And then I just load up with my boxes. I kind of estimate how many I'm going to need based on my customer's order and how many items they have. And then what I do is when I'm loading the boxes, I only load them thick enough that every single item has the barcode facing upward so it can be scanned. Oh, smart. All right. Yes. And then if, if I can do layovers of it, like... Meat is a great example. I'll stack it so that you can see every single barcode, but it all fits in the box. Um, and then that way, when you get to the register, they don't even have to unbox it. They just scan the barcodes. Oh, okay. Yeah. It makes that's, it really easy. If you're doing a flatbed, if you have a double order, it makes it a lot easier. Do you to like it. Do you like taking the double orders? I, I honestly, like, I have I totally avoided double orders just because... I don't know. They just, at least from the regular stores, from what I've been looking mm -hmm. at, they didn't seem worth it to me, but maybe I'm completely wrong about that. I mean, um, I don't necessarily like it, but oftentimes, especially with Costco, they will double them up because you're going to have 
one good tipper and one that tips shit. Oh. Like I had one that tipped me two dollars and forty cents. Granted, it was only three items, and I think the order only totaled maybe like thirty five dollars. Still, though. But still, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was the longest of the drives that I had to make. She was all the way up in Longmont. Right. Whereas my other one was in Boulder. So, um, do you, do you mind sharing, I know you've already kind of told me this, but do you mind sharing like what you normally, like kind of your average takeaway for like a day or the week or whatever? Sure. My average takeaway is between two and $300. Um, and then my weekly average is anywhere from 12 to $1,500. How many, how many hours do you normally work in a day? I try to not work more than eight hours a day. I yeah. get up early in the morning, and then I'm always home before seven. Nice. Yeah. So, so I, I need to. to I need. Can I go shopping with you? <laughs> I just want to watch you. <laughs> you totally can. Yeah. But yeah, you could totally come shopping with me. I'll nice. Teach you my way. Yeah, I want to make nice more money, man. <laughs> and the nice thing about Costco is there's less aisles in terms of where the the food. Yeah. Is. For the most part. And so then, probably um, less less learning you have to do, really. Yes, because they don't yeah. have as many products. I can You can ask me where something is in the store, and I can tell you right away. Like, I had someone this morning, he's like, hey, Alexa, where are these? And, and it was like crab cakes, which said it was supposed to be in dry goods, but it's a frozen food item. <laughs> and then the other one was like probiotics. I'm like, all right, crab cakes are here. For the probiotics are the <laughs> third aisle. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So it, it, it is very beneficial when you start to really learn a store that you frequent too because it quickens your time so you don't right. have to spend as much time going back and forth. Yeah. And one thing I will say about Costco though, make sure you go through your entire list because sometimes they'll put deli items, which is like clear on the other side of the store from everything else. Um, sometimes they'll put it towards the bottom of the list. Oh, okay. And it won't necessarily be in the right order. That's annoying. Got it. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Don't forget where you park your car there. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> that, that's my hardest thing because the exit's like on the corner. Yeah. Of the building. Sometimes I'll forget where the hell I parked my car. <laughs> I spent 20 minutes one day trying to find my damn car. I'm all sitting there pushing the emergency button and it still couldn't hear oh, it. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah, that would suck. That would really piss me off. I'm not the only one who's ever done that at a Costco, though. I can guarantee you that. I've yeah, for sure. All yeah. right. Noted. Cool. Yeah. Thank thanks for talking to me and my people oh, yeah. on YouTube. <laughs> oh, you're very welcome. All right. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay, no problem. Have a good uh, shop. <laughs> Thanks. See ya. You're welcome. Bye. Well, I drove to the Costco that I was going to try to shop at today, but I realized that silly me drained my battery and I did not bring my portable charger with me today. So if you don't know, the app is pretty draining on your battery, so it's definitely a good idea to have something like a portable charger with you. I actually have the one that I used linked below. Um, I can't show you what it looks like because I forgot it today. So I'm currently sitting at like 27% battery and I definitely don't wanna try to go do this first Costco batch on that low of a battery, so I'm gonna wait for it to charge up a little bit before I really give it a go, but dang it, I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> I really just like learning things the hard way, don't I? But I kind of figured I'd talk to you uh, about a couple other things while I was waiting for my battery to charge. Um, it's funny, I actually, so I just turned on, oh, there's some batches. Oh man, you see those going so quickly. This is not a terrible batch. So, I mean, this this is pretty far away from, yeah, it got scooped up quick. So, yeah, I mean, if you haven't already heard about, you know, a service, a third party service, batch bots or whatever, or stealing batches, um, it's true. It's definitely true. There is a service that is taking batches and I believe reselling them. Um, so some people are using this service 
and they're getting first pick of the good batches, which kind of screws everybody else. And I'm not gonna lie, it sucks really bad. It is against Enzigart's terms of service to use a third party like this. And as they are finding out, they are deactivating people. So yeah, if, if you know of anybody that is using a service like this, definitely report them. And you know, you don't wanna do this because it is against Instacart's terms of service and they will deactivate you if they find out about it. So, I mean, as you can see, I kind of have some batches popping up right now. Um, there's some okay-ish ones. What's funny is that I'm getting batches for all over the place. Like I'm literally sitting right in front of this Costco right now and I'm not currently getting a batch for the Costco. So something else I want to mention is that if, if you are relying on Instacart as your main source of income, don't. <laughs> you really can't afford to do that because you never know when something like this may happen and not even just with Instacart, with any other gig. So keep your options open, apply to as many gigs as you possibly can, have a backup always because like I said, you never know what is going to happen. I personally, um, I have Amazon Flex and Postmates and I'm actually trying to sh sign up for Shipped right now too. So I haven't tried any of those just because I really do like Instacart and you know, I, I'm bothered by some of the things that are happening right now, but I, I still like it. So the thing is, is that you do, you still need that backup. Um, you just have to. And I'll, I'll definitely be uploading some content about some of the other gigs soon, especially if Instacart doesn't get it figured out. <laughs> but, okay, one other thing I wanted to talk to you about is, I don't know if you're aware of this, but you are required to have insulated bags. And I've heard that by getting the insulated bags and getting those approved through Instacart, you actually, it opens you up to more batches. I'm not entirely sure how true that is right now with everything else that's going on, but I did just recently have a support representative tell me that that was the case, that you do have more ba batches available to you when you have the insulated bags. So if you are looking to get those approved, if you look on your dashboard, I don't have this anymore because I've already had mine approved. Maybe I can find a photo of it or something for you but it's like under food safety on your dashboard if you click on that you have the option you can either buy bags through instacart i didn't do that i've heard they're not very good i also have a link to the company that i my insulated bags from and they gave you guys a 10 percent off code so that's pretty cool i think these bags are really nice i also really like the color a lot the 10% off is good for any bag on their site and they have larger bags as well, which I'm kind of looking into getting my hands on one of those because I think it might be beneficial. So even if the insulated bags don't open you up to more batches, then just having them and having a way to carry a lot of groceries at once is very beneficial. So that's about all I have to say. I'm, I'm gonna wait for my phone to charge up a bit I'm getting a little nervous that I'm not receiving any Costco batches, so I don't really know what's gonna happen with that. These batches are disappearing very quickly too. And it's it's hard to say, like, I mean, I think it's possible that this isn't necessarily from bots, but I think it also could be, yeah. I mean, my main goal today is just to try to get uh, the Costco order is figured out, which this store is insanely busy right now. So yeah, I'm very anxious. Again, here we go. It, like I seriously feel like it's my first time again, just because I'm going to do a Costco order and I haven't done one yet. It's so silly. I'm not trying to make a whole lot of money today. I'm really just trying to familiarize myself with a Costco batch, but we'll see if that's even gonna be a possibility since currently it says I have no batches available. Oh no. Once again, make sure that you have other gigs you can go work if you're having problems with Instacart or any of the other gigs. It's very important. Well, this is definitely not the direction that I thought this video was going to go in. Uh, 
I'm pretty angry right now. So as you can see, I have no batches available and it's been looking like that for some time. And if a batch does pop up on my screen, then it seems like they just disappear really quickly. I'm also, the batches that I am getting are located all over the freaking place and nothing is close to me. So, I'm really annoyed right now. And, you know, as much as I like Instacart, like, and I really want to continue to like Instacart, I'm not going to deal with this. So, I'm going home. I'm, I'm done. I'm not going to sit here and aggravate the hell out of myself just to try to get a batch when I'm fighting with whatever this batch bot thing is. I didn't think I really wanted to tell you guys uh, or bring it to your attention what the services were. Um, but there is an article about it that I'm going to link below for you. It does mention the services in them, so I wasn't sure that I wanted to share the article, but the article is pretty, it's a pretty good article, so I'm going to share it with you. I don't know what just happened on my screen, but I feel like something flashed. Ah! <laughs> So, I can tell you exactly what I'm going to do. I am probably going to give Instacart a bit of a rest until I see some changes. So, Instacart, things need to change because, I mean, okay, look, all right, there's some stuff up and it's disappearing quick. This could just be people, but, I mean, these patches, with the exception of this one, like, okay, it's already gone. Most of these batches are pretty crappy. And, you know, like Alexa was saying, she thinks that the, the bots are just taking all of the good batches. And then we're stuck here, like, fighting over the crappy ones. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Yeah, that's, I'm not, that's just a huge waste of my time. I'm not going to sit here and do that. This is ridiculous. I'm so mad. I hate being this negative, you know, I want to try to put a positive spin on it, but this, this, this is really terrible. So, yeah, I'm going to be trying out some of the other services. That's probably what my next video is going to be. So, if you're looking for more Instacart content, you may not see it from me for a little bit. Oh, man. So mad. This, I mean, this isn't the worst. That's not too terrible, but like, like, look how far it is from me. I would maybe consider taking something like that, but the thing is, is that I'm looking for a Costco badge. And yeah, that's, that's just not happening. Grr. Okay, guys. I just want to add that even though, yes, this is very frustrating, People are still out there making money. I think it's possible that some markets maybe aren't as affected as badly as others. And I do think that Instacart is going to get this fixed. So, you know, I feel for them a little bit as a company just because I know they weren't anticipating this. They weren't prepared for it and them trying to ramp up to get their business to where it needs to be, I'm sure has been a huge struggle for them with that being said like I know you know you have to look out for yourself and make sure that you know you can earn money and if you're not earning through Instacart then you probably need to walk away from it or at least you know give it a little bit of a break until things improve and then maybe you can go back to it but yeah very disappointing I, I do hope that Instacart gets everything figured out sooner than later. You know, I still want you to be able to see the the part where Alex and I talk about Costco because at some point in time that is actually going to be relevant and you are going to be able to get batches for Costco. And uh, like she said, you know, she's going out early. So I may, I may actually still give that a shot just to see if, you know, if I do get up at and out at 6 a.m. if I can get myself a few Costco batches and actually make some money. But this is just, this is frustrating. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not. So I'm really pretty pissed off with Instacart right now. 
Thanks for watching guys. Please give this video a thumbs up because that helps me still, even though this is kind of a Debbie Downer video. I'd appreciate it, but okay. I'll see you soon. Bye.